Tis the season, folks. Today was supposed to be my wife's family Christmas, and we had to leave before the festivities started because lo and behold, after one of the driest and nicest winters so far, bam, eight to 14 inches, 50 mile an hour winds, it's gonna be some wet, heavy, slushy snow. While I was driving back today, Dad and Uncle Jeff got my cows and Jeff's cows moved. So glad they got that done while I was not available. We got one taker on the hay. Looks like it was a pretty quick, clean deal moving them cows. Yeah, you should have been there. It would have been okay if you were there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So these are the pants I've been saying I'm gonna throw away for a long time. Today's the day. <laughs> okay. And the coat too, because a friend of mine from New York sent me a new Carhartt. I told him I was gonna start wearing it. We start calving, but I think uh, no time like the present. Uh, right. So when you leave, you wanna throw this stuff in the burn barrel? Sure. It was time. The girls thought it was a good idea to graze when there's 13 inches coming today, but they'll follow a bale. We're gonna get them behind these trees. More than 24 hours into the storm now. At this point, we were supposed to have gotten over a foot, and I could see gravel on the road, so uh, I think we got a lot less than what they thought we were getting. But look at this, folks are driving to work. Godspeed. Oh, brake check. Oh, this is just a sheet of ice. Woo! My experience from just cleaning that little bit off and pushing the snow over there I get into the field and I about get stuck the mud underneath is not frozen so I walked out in this bullpen and it was soft in there if I drive really anything in there it's just gonna make a mess and I'm not gonna I'm gonna do more damage than good seems like we're up against it we got nothing we can really do to improve these feedlots except wait a couple weeks for it to get colder and finally freeze solid. Right behind where they eat, you've seen us clean it off many times. We're gonna do that. I can stay on the concrete. Uh, these back pens, sounds like there's a lot of snow that piled up behind there. So
It's a mess. Started out as rain, moved into snow. It's just soupy. We're gonna start working on the middle feed lot. And it's just, if I get anywhere off this concrete, it's gonna be a mess and I could get stuck. So we got a gate right here. Just gonna drive on the concrete back up. Dad's getting the manure spreader and we'll throw that over here. Smells like poop. Man, it's stank. Ooh. It smells like 10,000 vacationers from a Mexican resort hopped in the cab here and just released gas. Metric tons. Metric tons of gas. See this bowl right here, 9.95. When he was born, he got really chilled. I got a cute little picture of him right here. He was a big calf. After Doc fixed them all up, let him out with a little, little piece of rope tied around its head. We got him home, and he's he's performed really well since then. I've got a hydraulic hose leaking on that loader now. Oh, so I'm gonna have to take it off. Walk us through it, cool. <laughs> New segment of walk us through it. So I'm wrapping this thing on here. A protective. Which definitely coating. didn't protect it from it, just that last hose just blowing out. Right but there. Well, this hose gets, gets close to the ground sometimes. Yeah, it does, does the bendy and the... And the rubbage, the yeah. chafing. So basically, there's two hoses here. And... One year, that one breaks, and then the next year, that one breaks, and then that one breaks, and then that one breaks. Hey, I was thinking about something the other day. When people talk, and they say things wrong, you know, sometimes they don't know if they want to say don't or do not, so then they say donut. Okay. And then I think of donuts. Yeah. And now, since we couldn't get that hose in a half, in a three-eighths, we had to go to half-inch to have the right end, so now the protective is a little short. But we've got it up there in the trouble zone, so we'll go with this. Look at that. I'm holding the old hose, the new hose. And the, uh, Getting the dirt in the new hose. Maybe. Walk us through it, Cole. I'm spinning. I'm getting tighter. Like, Boy George, you spin me right round, baby, or something? Yeah. Is that a Boy George song? I don't know. I don't know who that is. Could be. Could be. You don't know who Boy George is? Well, what like, about Man George? Uh, he wasn't no man. 
I'm thinking that maybe tighten them with a wrench because then it won't blow that o-ring out, you know what I'm saying? Ah! Oh, brain tight. The poo, uh, the poo snow is melting. Calving season is coming up. A few folks are asking where to find the optimizer gel. It's moved locations online. If you just go to sunnyfarms.com, you'll find it. And we we're able to get it $2 cheaper per tube. It'll be our fourth year using it. Haven't lost a single calf to overeating disease or scours. We did have a few last year that did get scours, you know, all that snow and muddy, poopy puddles. But they came right out of it. Nothing where we had to give them an IV to get those liquids back in them. They just, it seems like less of them get it. And when they do get it, it's a lot easier to handle. But if you bought in the past, it's just on sunnyfarms.com. You'll find it. If you go to shop products, optimizer gel, it's right there. Each tube does eight head. Got the snow blower hooked on and we started running her and the tilt and the rotate did not work again just like last year last year the issue was a fuse so find the book everybody loves doing that and see if we can figure out if it's a fuse again just so you guys know do not try moving an elephant with your skid loader that is wrong. No, that's good. Pulled all the fuses that sounded like it was what we wanted, but they were all just fine. As you could see, I figured out how to run the turret. And uh, I'm not gonna tell you what I did to fix it because it's kind of dumb. A little embarrassing, but I figured it out. Yeah, that was not 14 inches. Not complaining about it. Would have been nicer if it froze solid so we weren't digging into the mud and making a mess. Hey, Cole. Do yeah. You, do you know who John Lennon is? Is he part of the Beatles? He was, yes. Woo! I got one right. There's there's two Beatles left and there's two gone. And John Lennon is one of them that's gone. And uh, today's song of the day is by John Lennon. 
and it's called So This Is Christmas. It's one of my more favorite Christmas songs. That it's a Christmas song. It's a Christmas song, but not a um, hymnal Christmas song. Ooh, I think ooh, the ooh, 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 playing it a little. Here's the leak. It's a big one. Not too shabby for our first wintry storm, but thanks for watching everybody. Love to see you next time. Have a good one. Fixed this yesterday. Look at that. Drove over something else. Someone must have spilled a jar of pokey things right behind my tires.